Ah, Namaskar, Shabab. Hello, guys and girls. Hello and welcome to a brand new video. Today, I want to talk with you about foundational skills that every developer should know. Let's get started. Yalla. So, the thing is, we have the year 2025, and a lot of things are changing. And here are some foundational skills I would say that sh should keep you uh, in demand as a software developer, even though the software development landscape is changing. And so you, so all of you are still um, remaining important with uh, kind of um, foundational skills that I am here um, suggesting to you. So these three topics would be API design first approach, where you plan first your API endpoints, your requests and responses, and then you start coding them. Uh, next topic is uh, JWT authentication, JSON Web Token authentication. It's very handy um, to handle your authentication with JWTs um, for smaller applications, and it's not so time consuming like other um, methods you could use for sign up, sign in, and of course, unit and integration testing. So let's dive, dive deep into it. First of all, API design first, start with a plan. First of all, like I said, you with API design first approach, you think first about your endpoints, the URL path, like I said, the, uh, the, the request parameters, the request body, the response body, and then you start um, coding it. You can use here tools like openapi slash swagger. And with a YAML file, you would document or model out your endpoints, requests, and responses. What are the benefits? Um, improve collaboration between front-end and back-end teams. So the back-end um, endpoint documentation is never out of sync, um, which is very, which the front-end developers are very happy about uh, such things. And yeah, you have a consistency across endpoints, and it makes documenting your endpoints much easier and also versioning them. So next next scale would be the uh, JSON Web Tokens, which are secure and stateless. Uh, JSON Web Tokens are compact URL safe tokens for authentication. Um, the, the main advantages are they are stateless. So you, you are not required to store any session data on your server. They are secure because secure because they are signed and encrypted and they're interoperable so basically json web tokens they work uh, with every language and every modern web framework which we know and of course they are ideal for modern uh simple page applications and mobile apps so yeah for for a small web front end for for a smaller app for there is no need for any complex sign up, sign in um, method. So use JWT tokens would be my suggestion here. Because for instance, Keycloak and so on are a little bit more work to implement from my personal experience. Next thing, testing, testing, testing. And testing ensures reliable and reliable reliable and quality software. So with a unit test, you test your individual components, your methods, just a chunk of uh, just a small piece of code. And with integration tests, you test how your uh, components interact with other components, for instance. And here we have the benefits: prevent bugs early in development and it encourages modular maintainable code. So with, if, you, if you struggle, for instance, to write a unit test or multiple unit tests, 
for a method, it might be because you have some kind of spaghetti code and you need to break up the methods in smaller smaller methods, one method in a smaller methods, and also maybe you violated the single responsibility principle. And yeah, if you write unit tests, you will you will figure it out quite early in the development stage. Um, yeah, and it boosts, of course, your confidence during refactoring when you, for instance, have to deliver a release very quickly. Then you can okay just code it, write some tests, and release your new update. And after the release phase, you have normally a refactoring phase where you uh, write again the code more maintainable, I would say also most of the time than more readable. Uh, yeah, so it's easier to understand for other developers in your team. And if you have already tests in place, you can see, okay, uh, did I break somewhere the logic or not? And of course, unit tests and integration tests are essential for CI CD pipelines. And yeah, it makes sure you, when you do some changes and so on and so forth, that the tests are still running. So because your testing stage should run before your build phase and so on and so forth. So why should you learn these topics and why make make sense to learn these topics together? So API design first approach, like I said, it then ensures structure and usability. So you think first about your API endpoints and then start coding. As we know, sometimes thinking before something is, can save you time afterwards. And yeah, uh, JSON Web Tokens, they are secure, they secure applications and manage your users in a, I would say, in a easy way. Um, the sign up, sign in uh, mechanisms, I would say, especially. And testing guarantees that you have reliability and long term stability. And of course, together they en enable robust, scalable, and secure applications. And now the last topic, where you could start learning these topics, you could go on the official OpenAPI site and dive into their um, the, in the API design first approach. Same with JS Web Tokens, there are a lot of uh, um, tutorials on the web when you Google it or go on another search engine or go on YouTube for some tutorials for testing. If you like me and you use um, uh, uh, Spring Boot with Kotlin, and yeah, then there's also quite good documentation online with JUnit, Mokito, and the Spring tests for the integration tests. Or what you also could do, you could build a real life application. And I have a course for it. Um, I have a course on habibi-coding.pro. Uh, let me just quickly show it to you, just give you an idea. So basically, sorry, this is the site when you come in, habibi-coding.pro. Currently I have just one course here. And yeah, this is, you can go through it, read a little bit what is it about. The course has, as you can see, uh, 12 chapters, uh, including the bonus chapter. And it, there are 30 hours of, of content. Yeah, 30 hours of content where we build a shopping list application from scratch, from database design until the final implementation, uh, testing it together with Postman. You can yeah, read everything what you want to know here about it, or you can just sign up for free and just go through the free previews. And yes, this was just an idea for what you could do or how you can get started with these topics. I hope you liked this video. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it or drop me a comment, what should I do next? And see you in the next video. Ila